wanted to give you a quick update on the Rio project. Um, these guys have grown really well. These are the 2010 babies. Uh, that's a female. And this is one of the males. And he has already started breeding for us, so I think it's going to be a good year for the Rio project. Um, we should produce maybe a couple more homozygous animals, and I'm hoping to produce some hets. Uh, this animal is a fire at Rio. Um, <clears throat> I've had several fires over the years, and I've never seen any that have this this same same pattern configuration. Um, you know, it has the melting kind of action toward the rear of the snake. Uh, really nice coloration. Um, the fire seems to be very compatible with this gene, and that even in the heterozygous form, uh, you know, the, the pattern and, and coloration is coming through well. We also produced the firefly Rio. Really high contrast, again, you know, that same sort of a pattern. Um, I'm excited to raise these up and maybe produce the uh, homozygous Rio form of the firefly. And let's see, we also did this, I believe, a fire calico pet Rio. Um, the colors on this snake are just screaming. Uh, I've produced several fire Rios over the years and uh, the coloration on this one is quite a bit brighter uh, and this orange along uh, the bottom seems to write pretty much the whole length of the snake. Uh, whereas in most calicos and, and fire calicos, you'll see that orange uh, toward the rear of the snake, and it, and, but it doesn't extend up nearly so far. Uh, the other thing that makes me think this has the, the Rio gene in it is uh, most calicos, uh, especially the more extreme ones from the line I'm working, uh, tend to be black back animals. Um, and this guy looks like, it, well, it's actually a female, it has more of a stripe thing going on. But we'll raise her up, and uh, I'm excited to maybe produce the fire calico homozygous Rio down the line at some point. Um, the only other thing we did as far as combos is, uh, I believe, we produced a granite pinstripe hat Rio. It's a fairly, fairly extreme granite pinstripe. Um, what makes me think it's got the head Rio is the the stripe is fairly thin. Um, it's darker than the other uh, granite pins that I've produced. And the head's got uh, kind of a more of an orange tinge to it. Uh, this guy doesn't want to sit still, but I'll show you what he looks like with with a more with a this is a definite just granite pin stripe, and you can see there's a little difference in coloration. He is not gonna sit still, but Anyway, I think that could be a, a screaming combo down the line, uh, the granite pinstripe uh, Rio. I also wanted to show you uh, what a typical heterozygous female looks like. Um, you know, they're not crazy crazy, but uh, there's just enough uh, in the pattern to suggest that it has the gene. Uh, you can see that the, the stripe is got the little islands in it, um, somewhat like the the Rio, and it also has uh, a tendency toward that melting of the pattern, especially down toward the tail. Uh, if you look at her, you can see how that, how that looks with the Rio. Anyway, it should be uh, a fun project for some time, and uh, looking forward to this next season to see what, uh, what we can produce.